Hey guys, it's time for another graph GAN. This time around we're doing the dog GAN instead of the cat GAN. So I hope you enjoyed the cat GAN and by popular request I decided to go ahead and design one for dogs. So the first dog that we're going to work on is a Chihuahua. Um, so this one we did is called Cup O Chihuahua Tea. And let's get started. So if you are following along with the graph you want to go ahead and print out the chart. Um, this, If you go by the chart uh, graph, then you can cross them off as we go along here. I always start from the bottom left and go to the top right of the chart. Often you'll see people that start at the bottom right and go to the top left. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, and the reason is because the chart is going to, it's reversible. You can see that the animal will look the same on either side. Um, for me, I do it this way because being from the United States, we read from left to right, and so this made the most sense for me visually. Um, but really, it's up to you. You can work however you like, um, but this is the way that I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so you have the chart at the top. You're going to have the color key here. So we're going to need red, white, cream, black, purple, and pink. So I've gone ahead and I've made some bobbins up. What I like to do at the start of each pattern is I like to look at I like to look at the instructions portion. I look at the longest row that has the most color changes and I try to see how many times I'm going to need to change into different colors. For instance in row 21 you see that there are three white sections. So what I try to do then is I create three white bobbins. So it's not an exact science. You may find that you need to make up bobbins as you go along. But what I'm going to start with is three white. I've got three of the cream color for the Chihuahua. I've got one red, two purples, two blacks, and one of the dusty rose or the pink color right there. Okay, you want to go ahead and grab your H, size H crochet hook. And let's get started. Okay, so for row one, we need to do one purple square. Okay, so grab one of your purple bobbins. You can get these bobbins, they look like this. You can get them in packs of six from the Dollar Tree. Um, and it, what a good deal, right? So I just stock up whenever I see them and they work great for clipping your bobbins to your work before you flip them. Okay, so grab your purple bobbin. You're going to go ahead and make a slip knot with your H hook, okay? So again, if you're if you're unfamiliar with slip knots, what you do is you create your fing you put your fingers like this, wrap it again, and then you're going to pull the yarn through but not all the way, just a little loop and pull tight, okay? And that'll create the slip knot on your hook. All right? So to get started, what we need to do is first chain five. One, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, three, yarn over, pull through, four, yarn over, pull through, five. Okay, so we have five chains on our hook. Now you're going to go ahead and do double crochets, okay? That's a U.S. term. I know in other countries uh, they call them triple crochets, um, but here in the U.S. we do doubles. So you yarn over, okay? You're going to go in to the third chain from the hook and do a double crochet. One more, okay? Yarn over, do the next one. yarn over, and the last one. Okay. All right. So that is your first square or row one. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the next row. So the next row is P2. So you need to do two purple squares. Okay. So what you're going to do is go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to do again what you did in the first square. You're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So yarn over, go into the third chain from the hook, and then yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over, pull through two loops, 
yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so that's a double crochet. You're going to do that two more times. Okay. Okay, yarn over again, pull through one more time. Make sure you're always yarning over before you go into the stitch. And then you go through the two times um, that creates that double crochet, okay? So now it looks like a pair of pants. Um, and if you followed along with the cat again, you know what we're going to do next. So what we do is you should have your, your end tail here and your working yarn here. The one that has the end tail, you're going to flip up, okay? So that it's beside where your hook is. So now that you've put this up, you're going to go ahead and go in from the front through to the back, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that last loop, okay? And that's going to connect your squares, and you can go ahead and now build your second square on top of that first rose square, okay? So in, in order to do that, you want to go ahead and chain two. So that acts as your first double crochet. Then you want to yarn over, and again, you're going into that wiggle space, okay? So you're going to double crochet three times in that wiggle space. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, that's row two, okay? So if you're looking at it, here's your first row, and then your second row is going diagonal here. So we're working from corner to corner, remember? So we're going to be working along a diagonal line. Okay, so we've done row one, we've done row two. Now we need to be able to flip back over to create the third row. So what we're going to do is go ahead and chain another five. Row three is, again, three purple squares. So you want to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Okay, so you yarn over, you go into the third chain, yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, and pull through the last two loops. Okay, do that again two more times so that you can finish off this square. Okay, one more. Okay, now we're going to flip this end up, okay? So the end that has your, your short tail, again, we're going to flip it up so it's next to our hook. We're going to go into that wiggle space from the square before. We're going to yarn over and pull through to slip stitch it together. So now we're building onto this square here. We're going to chain two as our first double crochet. Now we're going to go ahead and double crochet three times into that wiggle space. Two and three. Okay. Now we're working up the ladder, right? So now we need to get up to this one. So we're going to go into that wiggle space again, do our slip stitch in order to connect, chain two, and then go ahead and double crochet three times in that wiggle space. One more time. Okay, so now we've done three rows. Okay, so as you can see, there's one, there's two, and there's the third row. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the fourth row. And this is increasing, so we're increasing to the size of the full square before we begin decreasing at the corners. Okay, so the fourth row is again four purple squares. So there's no color changes yet. So we're going to repeat what we've been doing. We're going to do our chain five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, we're going to yarn over, go into the third chain from the hook, and do our first double crochet. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and do that two more times in the last two chains. Okay, so now, again, you created that I like to call it a pair of pants. It looks like little legs. Okay, so now you need to flip it up so that you can begin working on your row. Okay, so flip it up. Now it's beside your hook and your working yarn. Go in from the front to the wiggle space. Yarn over and pull through so that gives you your slip stitch. Chain two and double crochet three times in that same wiggle space.
Right. Now we're going to keep building up the ladder. So go ahead and go into the next square that's beside the one you just worked on. Doing your slip stitch, your chain two, and your three double crochets. And then you continue on and the last one. Slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets. And before you finish the last double crochet of that row, um, I noticed that in row five, we're going to switch to white. So on your last pull through, you want to go ahead and pick up your new color. Okay, so let's do that together. So you yarn over just like you normally do. Go in with your hook, yarn over from the back and pull forward. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now drop your working yarn. Pick up your new color, which is white. Okay, give yourself a little bit of a tail okay and pull it from a little bit higher up just making that loop over the hook and then pull through those last two loops okay pull your purple yarn tight drop your white tail okay and then we're gonna go ahead and do the chain with the white yarn so we're gonna chain five one two three four five now we're gonna go ahead and Double crochet in the third chain from the hook, just like we did before. The stitches will never change. It's always double crochets. The only thing that changes is when you have to be dropping yarn and picking up new colors and whatnot. So that's the only thing that can get a little tricky sometimes. Okay, so you want to keep your keep your other yarns pulled tight. Okay, you're going to be weaving those ends in later, and that will secure them within your work. Now you need to go ahead and flip up. Okay, so on this row we're going to be doing three white squares. You have two options here. You can carry the purple yarn, which you'll be needing at the end of this row. You can carry it through by laying it across the stitches and working around that, that yarn that you're going to be using. That's the working purple yarn, okay, the working tail. So that's an option. If you want a little bit of a cleaner look, what I would suggest, and this is what I'm going to do, it does create another end to tie in. I'm going to snip off my purple yarn, leaving enough of a tail to tie in, okay? Then go ahead and continue on finishing the white squares that you need. So we need two more white squares. You do your slip stitch in the next, chain two, double crochet three times in that uh, wiggle space. And then one more. Okay. So what I like to do so the bobbins don't get mixed up is when I'm done with the color, I wind it up and I clip it to my work, okay? And that's what the beauty of the bobbins are. So that way you're not having a bunch of bobbins getting mixed up with each other, okay? So we finished with the white. Now what we need to do is go back to purple. So I have my purple bobbin here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the tail, okay? I'm going to go in from the back to the front for color changes, okay? Yarn over from the front to the back and pull through that last white loop, okay? Drop your tail, and I usually like to uh, go over the tail a little bit to start securing it before I weave it in later. So I'm gonna do that here, okay? So go ahead and chain two, yarn over, and do your three double crochets. Okay, and the last one, since they are both purple, we continue on. Let's drop your tail, go ahead and do your slip knot or slip stitch. Go ahead and do your slip stitch into that next square, chain two, and double crochet three times to finish off this row. Okay, so that completed row five. We had one, two, three white squares and two purple squares, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and start with row six. We're going to be needing purple, white, purple, and white. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do our chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then in the next two chains, 
and then get ready to flip. Okay, so we're gonna flip our work. So flip it up, okay? Try to keep the tails out of the way. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do one more of the purple. So do your slip stitch, chain two, and three double crochets. And then we'll be switching to white. Okay, I'm pulling my bobbin off because I'm gonna need it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do one white. Then we're gonna switch back to purple and do two more whites. So because I have other bobbins, I'm gonna go ahead and, and add them in. And that way um, I'm not carrying any through that I'm gonna need back later. So um, let's go ahead and get started with that. So we're gonna do one white square. So you wanna drop your purple tail, pick up your white tail from your other bobbin, pull it snug so that way you're starting with the snug, you're not leaving gaps in between it any bigger than you need to, okay? So I'm coming in from the back to the front, yarn over from the front, pull to the back and pull through. In my opinion, that gives it a cleaner look when you go in from the back to the front for color changes. So it's really up to you. You could do it either way. Go ahead and chain your two and your three double crochets in that wiggle space. Again, you can carry the purple yarn and then pick it up here. That's completely up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and get another bobbin. So I've got another purple one. Okay, yarn over from the back to the front, create your loop, make sure you've got a tail there for tying in later or, or fasting in later into your work. Drop your tail, chain two, double crochet around your tail to begin fastening it and then later on you'll weave it in. You're gonna do your three double crochets. Oops. Okay, go ahead and Pull your tail one more time, just snug, but not too not too tight, or you're going to end up with gaps as well. So just enough so that there's nothing loose, no loose loops going on. Okay, so you just did your one purple. You need to do two more white. So I'm going to grab another white bobbin. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as before. So create a, a tail for sewing in. Okay, come in from the back to the front. Put your yarn, your loop over, pull through to the back, and then through that purple yarn loop. Drop your tail, grab your working yarn, okay? And working around the tail for the first one, go ahead and do your chain two, three double crochets in the wiggle space. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and do one more white square starting with your slip stitch. You can drop your white tail back Go ahead and do your slip stitch and three double crochets and then meet me back. Okay, so we have gone ahead and we finished row six. We ended with two white squares here. So we'd have two purple, one white, one purple, two whites, okay? We're building up that tea cup that the Chihuahua is gonna be sitting in. So next is row seven. We're gonna start with one white. So go ahead and do your five, chain five double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then in the last two chains and then get ready to flip your work. When I say get ready to flip your work, that means I want you to go ahead and clip your bobbins, okay? And this way when you flip, you're not going to be tangling them. So I'll show you how that looks, okay? So lay your work out. Now that we've got this many bobbins, it's just going to make it a lot easier when we flip to get these to get these fastened to our work. Okay, so clip them wherever you left them behind. You want to wind them up, clip them. One more, wind it up, and clip it. And you can leave the one that you're working with unclipped. Okay, so you should have just one that you're working with unclipped. Push that off to the side. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip the work up. Boop, there we go. Okay, get the tails out of the way. All right, and now you can go ahead and unpin your bobbins, all right? Since we don't have that much 
going on right now with our bobbins. It's not as big of a deal to do it this way, but when your work gets bigger and bigger, it does make it a lot easier to do this, okay? Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and continue on with row seven. We've done one white square. Next, we need to switch to purple, and we're going to do three purple squares. So drop your white, pick up the purple that you left behind, okay? Now, if you notice, the purple is up a little higher from where we need it down here, okay? So you want to pull it, fasten it tight, okay? Now, again, we're going to go in from the front, or from the back to the front, excuse me. Okay, you're gonna yarn over, pull through to the back, and then pull through that last loop, okay? Now, I know, that doesn't look very nice, right? You see that nice line right there? Okay, but watch. So now you're gonna go ahead and do your chain two. Do your double crochets, three double crochets. Okay. Now you're going to go up to this one. You want to make sure you take your hook under that line, okay? What you're wanting to do is to work around it. Then go in through your, your wiggle space, okay? Yarn over from the back, pull forward, and then pull through. That does your slip knot. Now you see that that line is gone. We've pulled it up, okay? So we've allowed it to go between the stitches, and it's going in between uh, the ladder here, so that way you don't see the color change, okay? So let's go ahead and do a chain two. And three double crochets, again, around that that yarn that we pulled forward because we had to jump it back a couple squares. Okay, we're gonna do our three double crochets, okay? Next, we need to do one more purple square. So do whenever I'm just using the same color on the same one, I just do it from the front to the back. Yarn over, pull through, do your two chain and your three double crochets in that wiggle space. Okay. Okay, so we've done one white, three purples. Next, we need to do one white and then two more purples. Okay, so let your tail from the purple drop. We're going to be switching over to the white. Pull it snug. Now, pull your yarn. Since see how we're next door to each other here. Okay, we're this one's down here. If I come from the front, the back to the front, and pull it this way, we're going to leave a line. So what I do is I pull this working yarn to the back. Okay. Now hook from back to front in that wiggle space. Whoops, that's not it. Here it is. Okay. Yarn over from the back and pull through and pull through your last on your hook. What that does is it works that tail up the stair and into the next one without leaving a line on either side, okay? So pulling it from the back to the front, it just kind of creates that twist that works along the side of that square. And that way you don't have to see it, which is really nice. It's nice to keep things as clean as you can. Go ahead and do your chain two and you're going to go ahead and do your three double crochets. Okay, now we're switching to purple. We're going to do the same thing, okay? So see how the yarn is way down here, but we need it up here, right? So we're going to pull that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that white loop. Pull the white tail tight, yarn over and do your two chain, then go ahead and yarn over and do three double crochets. After this, you're going to go ahead and do one more purple square. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of row seven. Okay, we need to switch to white. So I've got I've pulled it back so that I have the last two loops on my hook from the double crochet. So that last time where you go yarn over and pull through the last two loops, we're going to switch to the white. Now, the white from before is rather far down, okay? And I don't like to bring yarn that far back because I feel like it. you can see it. You can see that too big of a jump. You know, you can see the, um, when you try to hide it, sometimes you can see the, the yarn in, in and amongst. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and snip the white yarn. 
and we'll sew that tail in later. Now we're going to go ahead and with another tail to sew in, we're going to create a loop and pull through. Okay, so now we're going to start with our white. We're going to do chain five to begin the square. We're going to do three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook and then get ready to flip. Okay, so we've swiveled our work over here. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it up. And we're going to continue doing another two more white squares. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through to connect and then start building two more white squares. Okay, I'll meet you back at the end of the third white one. Okay. So we've done the three white squares. Next, we're going to do four purple squares. So you want to grab your working purple yarn. Okay, we're going to go from back to front with our hook, yarn over, pull through to the back, and pull through the last loop. Pull the white yarn tight and leave it aside. Now we're working with purple, chain two, and do your three double crochets in the wiggle space. We'll meet you back at the end of the fourth purple square. Okay, so we've done four purple squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish off row eight by doing one more white square. So grab your white tail. Since it's down low, we're gonna pull the yarn to the back, okay? We're gonna get our hook from back to front, yarn over from the back, pull through, and pull through the last purple loop. That hides the little jump up that we had to do on our ladder, okay? Chain two, three double crochets. Oops three double crochets in the wiggle space. Okay, and that finishes off row eight. Okay, we're gonna start row nine. Row nine is going to start with purple, okay? So we're gonna do one purple square, um, but it looks like we're gonna do purple, white, purple, and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab another purple bobbin Okay, so what we're going to do is, since we need to switch to the purple, let's just take out the last loop from our double crochet on the end of the last row. Okay, so we'll bring those two loops back, grab your purple yarn, create a tail, okay, and then put the loop over your hook and then pull through those last two loops. That finishes off the double crochet of the last row and gives you your purple yarn. Okay, so now we need to do one purple square. So chain your five, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Okay. And in the last one and get ready to flip. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip our work up. Pull all your yarn tails down so that they're out of your way. Now you can unclip your bobbins so you can see your work better. Okay, Oop. here we go. All right, so the pattern says we need to do one purple, we did. Now we're gonna do one white and then switch back to purple, okay? So, since we're right next to the white that we just left, we can go ahead and use that, okay? So again, pull the yarn from the front to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and then pull through. That connects your yarn together with the last row so that you can start this row, okay? Now go ahead and do your chain two, three double crochets in the wiggle space, Okay, so we finished the one white. We need to switch back to purple. Since we're right next door to it, we need to pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Okay, chain two, three double crochets into that wiggle space. One, two, and three. And we need to do two more. I will meet you back at the end of that. Okay, 
So we've done three purple squares. We need to go ahead and do four white squares to finish off the row. And we are going to go ahead and take our white yarn back to front. Okay, yarn over, pull through. And go ahead and finish the row using the white. Okay, so we have finished row nine. And row 10 starts with six white squares. Okay, so go ahead and chain five. And the three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay, now we need to get ready to flip the work. So go ahead and pin your bobbins. Okay, spin your work first. Now flip it. Okay, pull your yarn tails down and unclip your bobbins. All right. So we're going to do six white squares. We've just done one. We need to do five more. So let's do our slip stitch to connect, chain two, and our three double crochets in the wiggle space. And I will meet you back at the end of six white squares. Okay, so before I finish the sixth square, what I want to do is I need to carry this purple yarn, okay? Because I'm going to do one more square and only one square, and that's why I'm carrying it, because it's not going to show for just jumping at one square, okay? So I'm going to put the yarn across the top, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and continue doing my sixth square across and around that purple yarn, okay? And so securing it in between, and that way it'll be ready for us when we need it after this last square, okay? Okay, so that's the end of the six white squares. I'm going to drop my white yarn. Here is my purple yarn that we carried forward, okay? You want to bring the yarn forward, hook from back to front, okay? Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the last loop. This does the sort of reverse of what we've done in some of the other color changes where we were bringing the yarn to the back and it sort of creates that swirl. It does the same going this way and that way you don't see the color change, okay? So now we have the purple. We need to go ahead and do two purple squares. So chain two and I will meet you at the end of two purple squares. Okay, so I've done two purple squares Next, I need to go ahead and do one white square. So I'm going to drop my purple tail. The white is next door, so we're going to bring the white from front to back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the last loop. Okay, and go ahead and chain two and do your three double crochets, and we will switch to purple in the last square. Okay, where we are at the last square, drop your white yarn. The purple yarn is right next door, so pull it from front to back, yarn over from back to front, yarn over, oops, excuse me. So we're right next door, so yarn from front to back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, and three double crochets in the wiggle space. Okay, we finished row 10 here, so let's go ahead and start row 11. We need two purple squares, so go ahead and chain five. We're going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then the last two chains, and then get ready to flip. Okay, so now go ahead and swivel your work and flip your work up. Okay, take off your bobbins. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is we need to do one more purple square before switching to the white. Okay. So do our slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay. 
drop your tail. We're switching over to the white. We need to do one white. So since it's next door, we're pulling the yarn from front to back. The hook is from back to front. Yarn over from the back and pull through to connect. Do your chain two and three double crochets in the wiggle space. Okay, next we need to go ahead and do one purple. Okay, so oops, grab your purple. Okay, it's next door. We're bringing the, the yarn from front to back. The hook is from back to front. Yarn over and then pull through to connect. Okay, chain two, three double crochets in the wiggle space. Next, we're going to go ahead and do seven whites, okay? So we're going to grab our white yarn here, yarn, uh, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through to connect, Oops. chain two, three double crochets, and continue up the row until you are finished with row 11. I'll meet you back at the end. Okay. So we've gone ahead and we finished with row 11. We're going to start on row 12. Row 12 only has nine whites and then we switch to purple for three. Okay, so we're not going to need this other white yarn. So let's go ahead and snip that one off. Okay, and also too, we're only gonna need purple at the very end, so we'll keep We'll keep the bobbin that's connected here at the very end, but we're gonna go ahead and snip off the one that is towards the inner part of the teacup, okay, where the handle is. So we're gonna snip that one off. So we should only have two bobbins connected now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the next row, row 12, with our white, chain five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook and the next two chains as well. I really hope you guys find this helpful to work alongside me here as we go ahead and make the first square. And I'll plan on doing uh, several more squares. We'll see where we go. And if you guys feel like you still need assistance, I can continue on doing it this way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pin my bobbin so that I can get ready to flip. Okay, and flip it up. There we go. We're going to keep working with our white yarn for row 12. We're going to do eight more squares. So I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do three purple squares. So pull your yarn tight from your purple bobbin. Okay, hook from back to front, yarn over, then pull through to connect, chain two and do your three double crochets and then continue finishing up this row with your purple yarn and I'll meet you there at the end. Okay, so we finished row 12. We've done nine white squares and three purple squares. Now we're gonna start row 13. It starts with four purple squares. So let's go ahead and pin our white bobbin. Okay, chain five. Three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay, now we're going to flip. So flip it up, pull your tails down, and continue on. Do your slip stitch to connect, chain two. Okay, and we're going to continue on doing three more purple squares. I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, so we've done four purple squares. Now we need to switch to the white. So let's grab our white tail. Since it's next door, we're pulling the yarn to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Okay, chain two, three double crochets. And we're only going to be doing one white right now. We're going to then switch to black. That is what the X indicates. Okay, so let's grab a black bobbin. 
Okay, hook from back to front, create your little loop here, and pull through to connect, drop the tail, and we're going to go ahead and we're only doing one black square, okay? So chain two and do your double crochets around that tail to start fastening the black tail in, and then we'll weave it in later. Okay, so go ahead and drop that black tail to the back. Okay, so we've done our one black one, and we're gonna go ahead and switch back to white. Okay, so I'm gonna grab back one of my white bobbins. Okay, hook from back to front, put your loop on and pull through to connect. All right, and let's go ahead and do the same. Chain two, three double crochets around the tail, then go ahead and drop the tail. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and continue on with white for the remainder of this row. That's a total of seven white squares, okay? I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so row 14 starts with four red squares, okay? So what I've done is I've not finished the last double crochet of this last white square. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my red bobbin. And I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over that and pull through. That will finish off that one square and it gives me my red yarn to start my next row, okay? Chain five. and double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in the last two chains. Okay, since we're doing so many of the reds, we're gonna be doing four of them. I'm not going to carry this white yarn. I'm gonna go ahead and snip it off and I will bring it back up later when it calls for it up the row. So that's one less bobbin to clip, but let's go ahead and clip our bobbin so we can get ready to flip. Okay, go ahead and flip up, pull your yarn tails down, okay, grab your red working yarn, and then connect in the wiggle space of the last white square with a slip stitch, chain two, three double crochets, okay, and we're going to do this for a total of four red squares, I will meet you back at the end of that. Okay, so we finished our four red squares. Okay, so what we need is we're gonna need our white again. So bring back your bobbin for white. Okay, get your tail on there. Okay, hook from back to front. Get your loop, pull through to connect. All right. We're gonna do three white squares before switching to black. So do your chain two, three double crochets, and then finish off with those three white squares. I will meet you at the end of that. Okay, so we've done our three white squares. We're gonna switch to black. Okay, so hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through to connect. We're only doing one black square, so you're chain two and three double crochets, and we're gonna switch back to white. Okay, put your black away, or off to the side rather. Grab your white, okay? Now we wanna go ahead and just do one. So yarn, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through. Okay, go ahead and do one white square. Okay, all right. Last, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the row with purple. So let's go ahead and do hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and finish off your row with your purple yarn. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so we have finished row 14. We're gonna go ahead and continue starting row 15. 15 starts with five purple squares. So let's go ahead and put our bobbins. So we're gonna first uh, start with the purple. So do your chain five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook. We're still increasing. So we're still doing this the same. 
at this point, and then we will go ahead and flip our work to start this row. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it up. Pull the tails down, slip stitch to connect. Okay, chain two. All right, so we wanna go ahead and do five purple squares. I will meet you at the end of that, okay? Okay. So we've done five purple squares. We're gonna go ahead and do one white. So pick up your white, hook from, front, from back to front to do your color change. Chain two. And go ahead and do just one white. Then we're gonna switch over to black. Okay, white is done. Here we go, grab our black. Okay, hook from back to front. Yarn over, pull through. Okay, chain two and three double crochets. Okay, now we're actually adding another color, okay? So we are gonna get our cream color. We're starting the Chihuahua, all right? So grab one of your cream colored bobbins. Get a nice tail here. Hook from back to front. Get your tail over the hook, pull through to connect, okay? Drop your tail, get your working yarn. Chain two. Three double crochets in the wiggle space around that tail. All right. Okay, drop that, that tail back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to the white for two squares. So since we're next door, pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through. Okay, that's dropping your cream color for later. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay, we're gonna do one more and then we'll be switching to red, which is what we're doing to make the little heart on the front of the teacup. Okay, let's get our red. We need to do red for four squares, so hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through to connect, and let's go ahead and meet back at the end of the red. Four squares. Okay, so we've done four red squares. Now we need to go back and do another white, so grab your bobbin. You should have one more white bobbin. Okay, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, Drop your tail, chain two, and double crochet three times around that tail. Okay. All right, and that finishes off row 15. Okay, row 16 starts with one white square. So let's go ahead and pin our bobbins and get ready to start the next row. Okay, so to start the next row, we're going to do our chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in the last two chains, and then get ready to flip. Remember when I said at the beginning that it's nice to have your bobbins pinned because when you start having a lot of different color changes, you are going to be really thankful that that you've got a way of uh, pinning them when you flip. So um, now we've unpinned them, we're ready to, to continue on with the next row. We need to go ahead and switch to red for four squares. So go ahead and hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through to connect, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and continue on with the red for a total of four squares. I'll see you at the end of that. Okay, we've done our four red squares. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is two white. So go ahead and pick up your white. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Chain two. 
three double crochet is in the wiggle space. And you're going to do this for one more square. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, we've done our two white squares. Now we're going to go ahead and switch back to our cream for one square. Okay, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, now we're switching back to black here. So hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through. Okay, anytime you pull through, you always want to pull the last yarn tight so that everything stays nice and tight and you don't get gaps in between your squares. You'll of course have some gaps, but I've seen them get pretty big if, if you're not pulling tight enough. Okay. Okay, so there's our one black square. Next we need to do one white. So go ahead and go back to front with your hook, yarn over, pull through, okay, do your chain two and three double crochets. Okay, next we are going to switch to purple. Okay, so drop your white, grab your purple, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, okay, chain two, three double crochets, before you start the next one. Go ahead and finish off the row using the purple yarn. See you at the end of the row. Okay, so we have finished off with row 16. We're gonna go ahead and start row 17, which starts with seven purple squares. So go ahead and do your chain five, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and in the last two chains. Okay, and now we need to get ready to flip. So let's go ahead and pin our bobbins. Hello. Yes, hi, how are you? We'll be there. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so we've pinned our bobbins. We're going to go ahead and flip our work up, pull the tails down. Okay, let's go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect. Chain two, and then go ahead and finish the squares you need that you're doing in the purple yarn. There should be a total of seven purple squares at the end of that. Okay, meet you back then. Okay, so that finishes up seven purple squares. We're going to go ahead and switch back to the white since we're next door. Pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Chain two, three double crochets. Sometimes they still try to get caught up with each other, but... At least they're mostly separate. All right, so we finished the white square. We need to go ahead and we are going to do two pinks, okay? So let's go ahead. This is um, gonna be for part of the doggy's collar. So let's grab our pink bobbin. Okay. Yarn from, uh, hook from back to front. Okay. And go ahead and pull through that yarn that pretty pink yarn, chain two, and three double crochets, okay? 
Okay. So we can go ahead and cut off the cream yarn here. We will bring it back in later. Okay. And we can also cut off the black as well. We will bring that in later as well. Let's go ahead and do one more of the pink color. So that should be right at the end of that cream that we're connecting it to. Chain two and three double crochets. Okay. We want to switch over to white, which is right here. So since it's next door, we're going to be going ahead and pulling the yarn to the back hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through all the loops. Pull the pink tight, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay, so finish off. Okay. Finish doing your white square, okay. So next we need to do four reds. So you're gonna go ahead and drop your white, grab your red, okay, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and finish doing the four reds and then I will meet you at the end of that for the color change. Okay, so that's finished as the four reds. Now we need to go ahead and switch back to the white. So drop your red tail, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, three double crochets, and finish this row with the white. Okay, I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so we've finished row 17. We're gonna start row 18, which starts with two whites. So go ahead and do your chain five three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Then you're going to want to go ahead and pin your bobbins and get ready to flip. Okay, my bobbins are pinned. I'm going to go ahead and flip my work up. Okay, tails down. Unhook your bobbins to start this row. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and continue on with the white, so slip stitch to connect, chain two, three double crochets, that will finish off our white. We're going to then switch back to the red, and we'll be doing the red for four squares, okay? All right, so let's get your red, drop our white, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two with our three double crochets for the first square. Okay, you want to go ahead and do a total of four red squares. I will meet you back at the end of those. Okay, so we've done the four reds. We need to switch back to white. So drop your red tail or your red yarn. Grab your white. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull through. Oops, there we go. You're only going to be doing one white square and then you'll be switching over to the pink color. So we'll just do that together. Okay. All right, here we go. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to get our pink. Okay, and we want to just do two pink squares. Oops. Double crochet three. My goodness. There we go. One more pink square. Okay, all right, after the pink, the two pink, you want one white. So go ahead and let go of your 
rose color, your pink color. Get your white, do one white square. And then after the white, we're going to go ahead and finish off the row with the purple. All right. So I will go ahead and help you here with the color change. All right. Drop your white. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull through. And then go ahead and finish the row. I will meet you back at the end. You're going to be doing a total of eight purple squares. Okay, so we are just finishing up here the last of the squares for that row. All right, here we go. Okay, so we finished with row 18. We're going to go ahead and start row 19. We're getting really close to finishing the increasing here. Um, we need to do nine purples, so go ahead and do your chain five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in the last two chains. And then get ready to flip your work. Okay, go ahead and flip your work up. Pull your tails down. Okay. Go ahead and slip stitch to connect. Okay. Chain two. Three double crochets. And then go ahead and finish doing the purples here. Uh, you're going to do a total of nine purple squares. Okay. I will meet you back at the end of that and we will switch to cream. Okay. So we've gone ahead and finished nine of the purple squares. Uh, we again are on row 19, so the next thing we need to do is switch to cream, okay? So we need to go ahead and cut off the white yarn. Okay. Um, we are going to need the pink, so you are welcome to bring it up in, in order to have it up here when you need it for that collar, or you can snip it and then reconnect. It's completely up to you. But I am, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it forward. So I will get my cream yarn, create a, a tail. Okay, hook from back to front. All right, get my cream yarn on my hook here and pull through to connect. Okay, chain two. And go ahead and do three double crochets with the cream color. And you are going to do one more cream square, and I'm going to do that with you since we're carrying that pink yarn, if you chose to do it that way. It's totally up to you, okay? Okay, so I'm dropping my tail for my cream yarn, okay? I'm going to go ahead and tighten the pink, lay it across the top, okay? Hook is going from front to back still, yarning over and pulling through to connect, okay? Make sure that pink yarn stays nice and tight. Chain two and three double crochets again around the pink yarn that you're carrying up the ladder. Okay, go ahead and drop your cream color. Next, you're gonna go ahead and do one pink, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and keep the yarn forward, hook from back to front, okay? Go ahead and yarn over and pull through. Okay, yarn over and pull through. There we go. Okay, so you should just have your pink now. All right, you can see it just a little bit, but it's not that much. Okay, I, I'm willing to cut to bring that color forward if it's just jumping maybe one square um, any more than that and I tend to like to cut it off and start it again. So we're doing our chain two, our three double crochets with the pink now just for one square and then we're going to go ahead and uh, whoops let me try that last one again. All right got away from me. All right here we go. Okay, so that's the end of the pink for this one. And then we're going to go ahead and get two white squares in. So pick up your white. It's next door. So bring your yarn to the back. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull through to connect. Okay, chain two, three double crochets. 
And I am doing this with you because again, we're gonna have to bring the red yarn up a ladder step. So I will do that with you, okay? So you see the red yarn is right there. You're gonna go ahead and lay the red yarn across the top, hook from front to back, yarn over, and pull through to connect. Chain two, three double crochets around that red yarn that we're bringing up the ladder, okay? Make sure it's around it. That way you hide it as best as you can. Okay, here we go. Keep it tight, otherwise you're gonna see it. So you wanna keep that tight. Drop your white. Okay, we're switching to the red and we are doing two red squares, okay? So keep your yarn forward, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, okay? Chain two and your three double crochets. And then I will meet you back at the end of the red. Again, you are doing, oops, you are going to be doing two reds, okay? So not too many, just I'll meet you at the end of those two reds. Okay, so we finished the two reds. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish off row 19 by doing three whites. So grab your white yarn, hook back to front, okay? And pull through to connect chain two, and go ahead and finish off this row using your white. I will meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so I finished row 19. I'm gonna go ahead and just pin my work now, and we are going to be starting row 20. Row 20 is going to start with three white squares, okay? So we're not switching colors yet. All right, so I've pinned my work. I still have my white yarn on the hook. Go ahead and this is our last increasing row before we begin decreasing, okay? So do your five chains, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then in the last two chains, do two more double crochets, okay? Then we are going to get ready to flip. Okay, so twist and flip. And go ahead and pull your yarn tails down, unpin your bobbins so they are ready to use for the last increase row, row 20. There we go. Okay, so we need to do two more white squares, so do your slip stitch to connect, chain two, and I will meet you at the end of the white. Okay, so we're finishing up the third white square. We need to switch over to red, so drop your white and grab your red. Okay, hook from front to back or from back to front, yarn over and pull through. For the color change, chain two, three double crochets. You're gonna do a total of three red squares. I will meet you at the end of the red. Okay, the red squares are done. You can go ahead and put your red, red aside. Grab your white. We're gonna do one white square, okay? Now, because it was next door, we're gonna put the yarn to the back again. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, chain two, and the three double crochets. Okay, and then we'll be switching over to pink as we continue on the dog's collar. Okay, so. There goes the white, here comes the pink, back to front on the hook. Okay, chain two and three double crochets. We are only doing one pink and we are then gonna switch to cream. So go ahead and finish up your pink square. Okay, let your yarn go off to the side, grab your cream, pull it tight, hook from back to front. So we can switch colors and pull through, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay, so after the cream, we're going to get the black. So get your black bobbin. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Drop your tail, chain two double crochet three times around the tail before you drop the tail off so that you can fasten it in later or weave it in later rather. Okay, all right. 
So now the tail can go behind. Okay, next you're going to need the cream again. That was part of the eye for the dog, okay? So grab another cream. Hook from back to front. Yarn over. Pull through. Drop your tail. Chain two. So our three double crochets around the tail with the cream. Okay. Oops. Here we go. All right. Go ahead and drop the tail back. And we're going to finish off this row with purple. Okay. That's going to be a total of nine purple squares. So since it's next door, put the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Now pull your cream tight, okay? And I want you to finish off this row as usual, but this was the end of increasing, okay? So I'm going to meet you at the end and I want to show you how you will begin decreasing to finish off your square, okay? See you there. Okay. So I'm just finishing up the last square here on row 20. So row 21 begins decreasing, okay? So before we do anything, let's go ahead and pin our bobbins. If it gets too difficult for you while you are working on this to deal with these tails, you're welcome to tie them in sooner than at the very end. Um, it's really up to you. It doesn't really bother me too much, um, but, you know, sometimes now and again I will do that as well. So, it depends on how crazy the amount of color changes are. <laughs> Alright, so we finished row 20. Row 21 starts with 8 purple, okay? Normally, if you were increasing, you would do a chain 5, okay? But we're not going to with the decrease. What you want to do is first chain 3, 1 two, three, okay. Next, you're gonna flip your work. Okay, so go ahead and flip your work up like usual. Okay, now instead of crocheting into your chain, you're gonna go ahead and do your slip stitch on the prior square from the last row, okay? So slip stitch. So that first chain three is what creates that corner, okay? Now you're gonna chain two as usual and do your three double crochets and now you're building up on row 21 but you've already made your corner so this is what you call a decrease okay you're doing the you're decreasing the rows you're making them less stitches until you get to the other point on the other end of the square okay so there's your corner we're gonna keep working up as we would normally do and you're gonna go ahead and finish doing eight purple squares okay I'll meet you back at the end of that Okay, so we've finished our eight purple squares. We're going to switch over to the cream. All right. Hook from back to front. Okay, chain two, three double crochets. After this, we're going to switch over to white. Okay, so now we need white. This is working on the eye some more of the Chihuahua. Okay, we need to do white for two squares. We don't need the black anymore, so you can go ahead and cut that off. And put it off to the side. Okay, so get your white. You're going back to front with your hook and then pulling through with the white. Drop your tail chain two, three double crochets around the tail, and then you can put the tail up to the side. Okay, there's the tail. All right, so go ahead and do one more square with the white. Okay, after this, we are going to do black again. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we're not going to need this cream. So go ahead and cut that off. 
Okay, this is going to be the nose. All right. Chain two, three double crochets around the black to secure. Okay, the tail to the back, drop your black, get your pink. Since it's next door, go ahead and put your yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Okay, you're just doing one pink square. Okay, switch over, you're going to do one white square. So it was next door, I pulled the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, chain two, three double crochets, and then we will switch over to red. This particular row has the most color changes, so that should make you feel better. It's going to get easier from here on out. Okay, we're going to do two reds, so yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. So two red squares. Oops. And after the two red squares, we're going to go ahead and finish off the row using three white squares, okay? So I will go ahead and do that with you and then we will meet at the corner. So let's finish this red one. Okay, drop your red, grab your white, hook from back to front, oops. Yarn over, pull through, and go ahead and finish off this row with the white. Okay, so I've done my three white squares. You can see we're at the end of this row and we're next to the last one of the last row. But what we want to do is make the corner again, okay? So you want to go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect. Chain three, okay? You're going to flip your work. I'm just going to flip it a little bit here and I'll flip it the rest in a minute. Um, but I want to show you, go ahead and go in on that prior square. Do your slip stitch to connect. That creates your corner on this side. Chain two, and then you would do your three double crochets, okay? And then you're gonna continue on. This is row 22. You're gonna continue on doing four more white squares. I'm gonna go ahead and pin my bobbins and do the proper flip. I just wanted to show you making that corner right there, okay? Because that's a little bit of a tricky bit if you're not used to doing decreasing, all right? So go ahead and flip your work proper, do your five white squares, and I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, so we finished five white squares. Now we're going to go ahead and switch to the pink. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay. After that, we're going to go ahead and switch back to the black. Okay, so grab your black yarn, hook back to front and pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Oops. Okay. okay, after the black, we're going to switch to cream. Okay, so you're going to need to get another cream bobbin. Okay, hook from back to front, pull through to start that cream yarn. Go ahead and do your chain two and three single crochets around, or three double crochets, excuse me, um, around that tail. Okay, next we're going to switch to the white, so drop your tail back, drop your cream yarn, get your white. Okay. You're next door to it, so pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull. Okay, go ahead and do a chain two and a three double crochets to do your white square. Okay, next you're going to switch back to cream. So go ahead and grab your cream, 
hook from back to front. Okay, so we are working on the cream here is a double crochet. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to go ahead and so we need to do two more cream squares. So go ahead and do those now. This is going to start building up the Chihuahua's ears. Okay, so since we're only going to bring it up one step, the purple yarn, I'm going to go ahead and do that for this last cream square. Okay, we're going in from front to back. Okay, to connect, go ahead and do chain two, three double crochets. Okay. All right, drop your cream. Now we're going to go ahead and and use the purple, okay? So yarn from into the front. We're going to go from back to front with the hook. Go ahead and yarn over, pull through, and pull through the last loop of the cream. To connect, do your chain two, your three double crochets. Okay. And then after that, you're going to finish off the row with purple. You need to make six purple squares, and then we will do another decrease. I will meet you back then. Okay, so we've just finished row 22 with purple six squares. Okay, so we've gotten to the end again. We need to go ahead and do another decrease. So you're going to do a slip stitch to connect, chain three. Okay, and then we're going to have to flip the work now. So go ahead and pin your bobbins. All right, so let's go ahead and flip our work. Okay, now we're starting on row 23, so we need to start with a five purple squares. So we're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect, chain two, and then we'll build up the next row here. And we're just continuing on creating this corner, okay? So go ahead and meet me back at the end of doing your purple colors. You should, again, have five purple squares, all right? Okay, we've done five purple squares. So next we're gonna go ahead and do seven cream squares, okay? So you're finished with the purple for now. Pick up your cream. Okay, back to front, and then yarn over and pull through. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done four cream squares. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a black square, okay? Um, now, this black square, you do not want to use the black that's already connected, okay? Because that black is being used for the sort of interior of the teacup. This black, however, is going to be used for one of the pupils on the dog's eye. So you need a different black. Okay, go ahead and from the back to the front, yarn over and pull through to connect that black. Drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, all right. That's the only one you're gonna need this one for though, so go ahead and cut that one off. Okay, leaving your tail. Okay, I'm doing my tails to the back here. Okay, we need another cream, so grab another cream bobbin. Okay, hook from back to front. Grab your yarn and pull it through. Make sure your black stays nice and tight. Drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to the black for the interior portion of the cup. Okay, so put your tail to the back here. Grab your black yarn. Okay, it's next door, so bring the yarn to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Chain two, three double crochets. Oops. Try that again. Sometimes they come out when you're trying to work with them. Okay, we're going to do this. Right. 
And now that we've done that, we are going to switch back to the white and finish off this row doing two white squares. Bring your yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Uh, now go ahead and finish off this row and I will meet you back for the decrease. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've pinned my work. I've gotten to the end here. I'm going to go ahead and do my slip stitch to connect chain three. And now that I, since I've already pinned, I'm ready to flip my work. So go ahead and flip. Okay. Do your slip stitch to connect. Okay, now we're going to start row 26. It just has one white square to start. So do your chain two and your three double crochets with the white. Okay, after that you're going to switch to the black for two squares. Okay, so let's pull our bobbins out so we see what we've got going here. Okay, if you heard that, that was one of my bobbins falling off my table. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, so we're switching to black. Okay, back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect. Again, we are going to do two black squares. Okay. Just out of curiosity, you guys, did you guys start off doing the cat gown with me? Is this the second blanket that you've made alongside me? I'm just uh, curious to see if this is a new corner to corner blanket for you or if it is your second one. So any comments you'd like to leave below, that would be awesome. I will respond to each and every one of you. Um, all right, so we've done our two black squares. We're gonna go ahead and switch now to white. So we need white for two squares. This is working on the eye, the rest of the eye. So grab a white bobbin, hook from back to front, grab your yarn, your white yarn, and pull through. Tighten the black, okay? Drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, you're gonna do one more square after this one. I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, so we've done two white squares. We're gonna switch over to cream now. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this cream I'm gonna cut off because we're not using it. And we have a cream that is connected. So that's the one we're gonna use. Okay, it is next door, so let's go ahead and pull it to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Chain two, and three double crochets. Whoops, that white is trying to come with me. Here we go. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on using the cream color, and we are going to do a total of seven cream colored squares. I will meet you back at the end of that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I finished seven cream colored squares. We're gonna switch now to the purple. I did have to also cut off a pink one and another one of the cream ones because we didn't need them anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and get our next color here. We went back to front, yarned over and pulled through. We're going to chain two and do our three double crochets. And then we'll go ahead and do one more purple square. After that, we'll be ready to do our decrease, okay? Okay, so we have finished that row. We're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. Chain three. Flip the work. Okay, do another slip stitch to connect chain two and three double crochets with the purple and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to do two more purple squares okay but what I want to show you before I jump forward again is that we will need to carry that cream colored yarn if you see here we will need to carry that up and over okay so once you get to that spot make sure you carry it up and over so that you have it when you need it up here okay I'll meet you back at the end of the purple Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished the purple. I'm unpinning my bobbins now. I carried forward that cream color, so I've got it here. Okay, bring the yarn to the front, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Try that again. Oh, come on. Sometimes it works easier than others. Got it. Okay. 
Make sure you wiggle it to pull it tight so you don't have a loop that's hanging out there. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and we want to do, uh, let's see. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do six cream colored uh, squares. So let's go ahead and chain two and start with a three double crochet. I will meet you back here at the end of the six cream colored squares. Okay, so we're going to switch to white. So let's go ahead and since we're next door, pull the yarn to the back, okay? Uh, hook from back to front and then pull through with the white. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay, notice I am not carrying the cream color through, okay? We're finishing off the eye here for the dog and we do need cream now. But I didn't want to carry it through because I didn't want you to see any cream inside the eye. I really want to keep that as white as possible. So I'm not going to um, cut that here. But we are done with the white. So let's go ahead and cut the white away. Okay, so next I want to go ahead and do one cream. Okay from back to front. I'm just grabbing another bobbin. You could cut the other now if you want to and use that one if you're out of bobbins. That's totally up to you. It's the same thing really. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a chain two and a three double crochets in the wiggle space there. Okay, and then after that we're going to switch to black Okay, put your yarn tail to the back. We're switching to black here. Okay, we're next door, so pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect. Chain two. And you're gonna finish this row actually with the black, okay? So the white one that's connected at the end, you can snip away. You don't need it anymore. Oops. We're just using that black. Okay, there we go. So we finished with the black. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to slip stitch in the last chain three, one, two, and three. We need to get prepared here to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and pin my bobbins. Okay, and flip. Bring your tails down so they're out of your way. You can unpin your bobbins. And I'm not going to need both of these cream colored bobbins. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clip off the second one, okay? Okay, clip that one off. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. But what we need to do is, since we're starting with row 28, you'll notice that it starts with two whites, okay? Okay, so we're going to do this a little different when we are connecting our chain three, okay? What we're going to do is you're starting with white, all right? You did the chain three in black because you want to make sure that side stays black. If you had done it with white, it wouldn't look right, okay? So go back to front. This time you're grabbing your white yarn, okay? And when you pull that through to connect, now you're starting on the white but you still have the nice black edge there, okay? So drop your tail, chain two with the white, do your double crochets around the tail, and then you'll drop the tail to the back. Okay, for this one you need to do two white squares. So let's go ahead and do one more white square. Put my tail to the back. All right, one more white square. Okay, that's two white squares. Now we're switching to cream. And I have this one connected, it's next door, so I'm pulling it to the back. You, uh, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, we need to do total of uh, five of the cream colors. So we just did one, so let's do four more and I will meet you back at the end of that. Okay, so I am finishing up on my fifth cream colored square. After that, we're going to go ahead and switch to purple for the rest of this row. Okay, so your purple is up here. You have the option of snipping it or you can bring it back down here. 
which I'm going to go ahead and do, um, and then I'm just going to work around it, okay? So hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. When you're stepping the ladder, you want to go ahead and make it somewhat tight. You don't want it to be too loose so you see it, but you don't want it to be so tight that you can't actually stretch the ear enough to go, you know, the purple part to go around the ear, okay? Otherwise, it's going to look bunched. So um, that should be perfect the way I have it here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do my chain two, three double crochets. You'll notice that when you go around them, they do loosen a little bit, so that's why you want to be a little tighter than you would normally. Okay, you're going to put your hook under the purple yarn, go in through the wiggle space, yarn over, pull through, chain two, do your three double crochets. Okay, again, we are working around that jump backwards um, up down this, down the, I like to call it like a ladder, or the steps, however you want to look at it. Okay, again, go underneath that right there. Okay, through to the back. Do your chain two and your three double crochets and you just hidden that jump back in between your stitches. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to see it. Okay, I don't always do that but when I don't think that you're going to be able to see it, um, I do go ahead and try to try to make it a little bit less um, <laughs> yarn tails to tie back in at the end. I anyway, I had a lot of people when I did the cat gan um, talking about their frustrations and having to tie in loose ends. I'm lucky enough that my mom actually enjoys doing that. So she'll get this square at the end and she'll just sit there and watching a show and tying in the loose ends. I've heard of other crocheters paying their kids to do it. <laughs> Mine are too young to, uh, to pay to do that. So, all right. So we finished this row. Uh, we've done our five purple ones. We're going to go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect, chain three, and now we need to flip again. So let's go ahead and pin our bobbins. Okay, and we will go ahead and flip. All right, pull your tails down and your bobbins out. Okay, let's go ahead and slip stitch to connect, chain two, three double crochets to make our first square. Okay, this is going to be row 29 that we're on. We're going to do five purple squares, so I will meet you back at the end of those. Okay, so we are finishing up here on the last of the five purple squares. Okay, so now we're going to switch over and do four cream colored squares. We're next door, so we're pulling the yarn to the back, hook forward from back to front, pull through, chain two, three double crochets to begin that first square. And then go ahead and do three more for a total of four cream colored squares. Okay, meet you back at the end of that. Whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. So hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through to connect. Okay, drop your tail, grab your working yarn, and do a two chain. Make sure you keep everything tight, okay? And go ahead and do three double crochets to, to do that square, that purple square. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do one white square to finish off this row, okay? So go ahead and put your yarn tail to the back for the purple, grab your white yarn, yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Okay, chain two, three double crochets to finish off this row with the white. Okay, and this is going to be the end of the white, guys, okay? So do your slip stitch to connect and your chain three. Okay, you can go ahead and cut the white yarn, just leave enough tail to sew, uh, you know, to weave in the end later. Okay, so let's go ahead and pin our bobbins. At this point you should have three. All right, flip your work, pull your tails to the bottom, let your bobbins go out. Oops, all right, and looking at the pattern, 
we're going to pick up the purple yarn, okay? So we need to do uh, two purples to start row 30. All right, so what you're going to do is hook from back to front, pick up that purple yarn to finish connecting the white, okay? So that way you've got that nice edge. Chain two, three double crochets. Sometimes I try to go too quickly and then everything, everything goes wrong. <laughs> All right. Okay, we need to do two purple. So we're going to do one more before we switch over to the cream. I don't know if you did do the cat gam before, but I loved how heavy the blanket was with this much yarn that we're using. It almost felt like a weighted blanket. My daughter loves it. <laughs> All right, so now we're switching over to cream, okay? So we need to do three cream squares. So we're going to put yarn to back, hook from back to front, pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Whoops, get back there. Okay, we've done our three cream colors. Now we're going to switch back to purple, okay? So hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. We need to do five purple squares here. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, and just to let you know, guys, it's really important here on YouTube that if you are enjoying these videos and you want to see more videos, um, that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And that way you never miss out on a video as I post them. Um, and I can keep you abreast of all the things I've got going on. That's what I like to use my videos for. Okay, we're going to have other of the dog gan squares working on here. I'm going to have uh, more amigurumi one, um, more amigurumi videos as well. And really anything you're interested in learning having to do with crochet or illustration. I'm also a writer. I would love to share my knowledge with you. So don't forget to subscribe and we will keep going with these videos. Okay, so we're finishing up this purple square here. That ends row 30. Okay, we're going to do our slip stitch to connect our chain three. Okay, let's pin our bobbins before we flip our work. Okay, now go ahead and flip. We're going to do another slip stitch to connect chain two. We're doing row 31. Row 31 starts with four purple squares. So I will meet you at the end of the fourth square so we can go ahead and do another color change. Okay, so we finished our four purple squares. So this is row 31. We're going to go ahead and switch to cream. And then we're going to start working on the other inner ear part that is in pink. Okay, so hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Chain two. Oops. Okay. Now we need to switch to pink, so grab your pink bobbin. Okay, so I've got my pink. I'm going from back to front and pulling the yarn through to connect. Drop your tail, chain two three double crochets and then you're going to go ahead and pick up another one of your cream colored bobbins alright so let's put the yarn tail to the back okay back to front grab your cream pull through to the back drop your tail chain two and three double crochets with your cream color Okay, and we're going to switch now to purple. Okay, put your tail to the back, grab your purple. You, uh, excuse me, the hook is from back to front. You're an over and pull through. Okay, and we're going to do the rest of the row in purple. Okay, two of these, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we finished that row. We're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect chain three. 
Okay, we're starting row 32. We do one purple square, so let's go ahead and tie up our bobbins. Getting ready to flip. Okay, flip your work. All right, take your bobbins off. Okay, now, whoops, now go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. Chain two and three double crochets. Again, we're only doing one of the purples. Okay, oops. Then we're going to go ahead and switch to the cream. Okay, so drop your purple, grab your cream, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Chain two. Three double crochets. One, two. Oops. Give me some slack. And three. Okay, next. You want to go ahead and pick up the pink. Okay. So we go ahead and do that. Chain two. Three double crochets. After this, we're going to go ahead and pick up the other cream. Okay, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, next we're going to pick up the purple. For four squares, okay? So let's connect, chain two, three double crochets, and then go ahead and finish off this row. I'll meet you at the end for another decrease, and we'll keep on crocheting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to connect, chain three, okay? Pin your bobbins. Oops. Okay, flip your work, unpin your bobbins, slip stitch to connect, chain two, okay, um, we need to go ahead and do three of the uh, purple color. So let's go ahead and do three purple squares. I'll meet you back after three squares are done. Okay, so that's three purple squares. Now we need to go ahead and switch to cream. Okay, so hook from back to front. Grab your yarn and pull through. Chain two. Three double crochets. Oops. Are you guys using your scrap yarn? I hope so. I know I'm going to try to use up more of my scrap yarn. I'm not sure since I used a lot of it for the cat yarn. I'm not sure if I'll have enough for the dog yarn, but I might have to buy a few skeins. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're going to switch to pink. So go ahead and grab your pink. Chain two. Okay, we're going to just do the one. Okay, that's going to be the end of the pink, so we can go ahead and cut that off. Okay, go ahead and pick up your cream color again. Okay, pull that through, chain two, three double crochets. Just didn't want to work with me, did you? Okay. After this, we're going to go ahead and pick up our purple for one square, and that'll finish off this round. Oh, this row, excuse me. Rounds are an amigurumi. <laughs> I've gotten so used to saying that. All right, here we go. And let's finish this guy off. 
We're getting down to the end, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect with a slip stitch chain three. Okay, we need to flip. So pin your bobbins. Okay, flip. Sorry if it sounds like I'm getting tired, guys. I've literally been doing this for hours. Just trying to get one square done today. <laughs> You can't say I'm not dedicated to you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect, but let's look and see what color we need to start with. All right, so we need to start with one purple square. All right, so let's go ahead and do our slip stitch, chain two, three double crochets, and then we'll be switching back over to cream. Okay, purple done. All right, let's do cream. So it's in the front, go ahead and move it to the back. Hook from back to front yarn over and pull through. Chain two. Okay, we are going to do two cream squares, all right? So we won't need the other cream bobbin anymore. We can go ahead and cut that away. So I'm going to do that now. Oop. Okay. One more cream square. And if at any point while you're working on these, your bobbin runs out of yarn before you're finished with doing a, a stretch of the same color, you just attach another one like you would normally with a color change. Um, it's no big deal. It's just another end to tie in, but you wouldn't notice you wouldn't notice that you ran out at all. All right, okay, so now we're going to be picking up purple for three squares, okay. I will meet you back at the corner and we'll do another decrease and a flip. Okay, finished that row, go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect your chain three. All right, pin your work, or pin your bobbins rather. Okay. Flip. Okay, do our slip stitch, chain two, three double crochets. Look, see, I was just talking about finishing off a bobbin before you're actually done, which means I'm going to need to use, uh, probably wind another one. <laughs> so, it, as I said, it's not an exact science. You try to make as many bobbins as you think you'll need in the beginning, and it doesn't always work out that way. So, sometimes you have to make them as you're going through. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to make three purple squares, then we'll switch back to cream. And I'm going to go ahead and wind another bobbin, okay? I'll meet you back at the end of the purple. Okay, we've finished the purple. We're switching over now to the cream. Okay, and we are only going to do the cream for one square, all right? So put the cream color to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Tighten your purple in the back there, chain two, three double crochets in the cream color. Then we're going to go ahead and switch back to the purple to finish off the row. And we're only going to do one purple square, okay? It'll give us that little... That little edge. Oh, my bobbins are attacking me. They're fed up. <laughs> All right, chain two, three double crochets. And let's go ahead and connect and finish off that row with a slip stitch and a chain three. Okay, pin our bobbins. Okay, flip the work. Okay. Slip stitch, chain two, one purple square to start. Okay, we are currently on row 36, so we are literally coming down to the end here. Okay, let's do one cream. We're bringing the yarn to the back, hook from back to front and pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Oops. There we go. 
Okay, now we're switching to purple. So let's get our purple yarn, pull, pull it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Go ahead and finish off the row with the purple and I will meet you at the end to flip. Okay, we are ready to flip. So let's go ahead and pin our bobbins. Okay, flip the work, unpin the bobbins. Okay, we're going to do our slip stitch to connect. Chain two, three double crochets. We are going to do two purples, okay, two purple squares, and then one cream, okay? And that'll finish off the ear. So let's go ahead and do one more purple. Okay, switch to cream, yarn to the back, hook from back to front, okay, three double crochets, okay, so now we're going to do the end here, all right, we don't need this purple anymore, so let's go ahead and cut it off. Okay, so we want to go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect, okay, chain three, go ahead and flip your work, okay, now we're done with the cream, we need to pick up the purple, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our hook from back to front yarn over and pull through to finish off the cream. You can go ahead and you can snip off the cream. Okay. Continue on with a chain two, three double crochets. You're going to do one more purple square. Sorry for the squeaky table. <laughs> I've got to come up with a better system, guys. Uh, any suggestions, leave those below in the comments, too, okay? All right. Okay, chain three. One, two, and three. Flip. Boop. Slip stitch to connect. Chain two. Here's your last purple square, all right? And then I'm gonna show you how to finish off with this corner and what we're gonna do next. All right, so we finished that. Let's connect with a slip stitch. Now, that corner does not look like a corner, okay? So in order to make it a corner, you need to do your last three chains, okay? Flip it, and then do your slip stitch to connect, okay? So that is the end of doing the crocheted part of the squares, okay? Or, or doing your corner to corner part of the squares. So you look at your picture, everybody matches, okay? It's facing the correct direction. You've ended on the correct direction. Now what you need to do is you need to do a single crochet border around. Um, now if you did the cat gan, you know what I'm talking about, but if this is your first time being here with me, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do, okay? So, you are facing the right way, so you can continue on using the purple yarn, all right? Now, one of two things, you can either do single crocheting all the way around the border with the purple, that's fine. I've had a lot of people do that. You can also try to switch the colors and keep the color changes along the outside edge and that's what I'm gonna do and show you that way, okay? All right, so here we go. You're gonna start with a single crochet in that corner, okay? You're gonna single crochet in the in-between space, okay? There's like a little hole in between the squares. Okay, now single crochet, one in the side of the square, now in the middle, now in the side, and in the middle, 
and in the side. Your goal here is to make it so that your work does not pucker. You want it to lie flat. So if you are a tight uh, stitcher, then you might need to do two single crochets along some of the sides um, instead of the one. I try to just work these a little looser than I normally would so that they, they don't pull tight. Um, but I have heard of other people having that issue. So it just really depends on, on the tightness of your stitches. So I'm just working, as I said, I'm working these loosely. I'm not, my tension is not as tight as I would normally have it. And that way it will lie flat for me. Okay, so we're just doing one on the side of the square and then one in between the squares. And one on the side of the square and one in between the squares. Okay, oops. And we're going to do that until we get to the corner, and then I will show you what to do for the corner. Okay, so once you've gotten to that corner, you want to go ahead and on the shorter side, you want to do one single crochet. And on the longer side of the square, you're going to do two single crochets. That will give you a total of three single crochets around each corner so that your corners also lie flat. Okay, now you go right into the middle between the squares, again on the center of the square, and in between the squares, and then on the center part of the square. So you just want one for each outside edge of the square and then one single crochet in between the squares, okay? Now do that until you get to the point where you're gonna be switching to the white color. Okay, so we're coming up to a color change here. All right, so what you wanna do is right before the color changes, put your hook in like you'll do a single crochet, pull the color forward, or pull your original color forward. Now you need to grab the white, okay? So grab one of your bobbins, leave a tail, and then go ahead and pull through. Okay, you can start by single crocheting around the tail a little bit, and then you'll go ahead and weave it in later. You wanna go ahead and do the next one along this side of the square, then in between the square, and you'll see that by doing that, you are allowing yourself to only have the colors where they match the inside of the square, okay? So now the white is with the white and the purple is with the purple. Okay? So go ahead and finish through to the end of the white and I will then help you with another color change. Okay, so we're on the last one. I've gone ahead and pulled up the two loops. We need to switch back to purple. So I'm gonna grab another purple one Pull it through, tighten, drop the tail. Now you're going in between the colors. Okay, then along the sides, in between, along the side. Okay, you can drop your tail at any point when you feel like it's secured enough to where you're ready to tie it in later. All right. Okay, here we are getting to another corner. Again, we need to do three single crochets. Decide where the longer side of the square is as opposed to the shorter side. If you can't tell, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, two single crochets on this side. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my square and do one more along the other side of the corner. Okay, now we're going in between the squares again and finishing off this purple section and then we're going to go ahead and switch to white again. So whenever you finish a color, you can always snip it off. It'll be another end to tie in. I just think doing it this way, it makes it look really clean and then it doesn't really matter what color you decide to do for your in-between uh, square connecting. It's not going to make a difference. Um, It'll make a nice border once you get that part done. And I know in my cat gan I did white. So I connected each square using white yarn, um, but you can really use whatever color. I've seen a lot of people using different colors and they look just as good. Okay, whoops. Okay. 
Now, this is the last one of the purple before the white, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my white yarn. Okay, and I've got my two loops on my hook. I'm going to pull through the white, drop the tail, go in between the squares. I'm just careful with all these loose ends to tie in that you're not grabbing the loose end instead of the working yarn. And do your single crochet and continue on. You're going to do this every time you have a color change. On the last stitch of that color, that's when you do the color change. All right, that's the best way to do it. It looks the most clean, in my opinion. Um, and you're welcome to, if you don't want to bother with this red, you could continue on with the white. That would be fine too. Um, sometimes you can even carry, like for something like that, you know, you might want to carry the, the white yarn along because you're going to need it right after. So that's another option. I like to give options. <laughs> All right, here's our last white one here. And I actually left a decent tail and I only need it for like one, one stitch. So I'm just going to use the, the red that I had left off with and I'm going to carry the white over. Okay. Just make sure that you're carrying it over and you're not twisting it. So you'll have like a bunch of colors twisted together. So carry it over the top. Okay. Go ahead and do a single crochet. And then in between, you're going to go ahead and pull up your second loop. Now switch back to the white and pull through. Okay, and now go ahead and continue on with the white. Okay, you can see it looks pretty good. All right, and continue on until you get to the side where there is a black color change, making sure that you're doing the three single crochets in that corner square. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the black and pull through, drop my tail. Okay, since the white is gonna come back into play, I'm gonna go ahead and carry it with me. Okay, crocheting around it. All right, single crochet with your black and into that in-between space you're going to do one loop, drop your black, okay make sure your tail's in the back and then you're going to go ahead and pick up your white yarn and then go ahead and go into the next one doing a single crochet which will be along the side of the white square, okay? Okay and then go ahead and in-between squares in the middle and then in between, and then again on this one, we're going to switch to purple. Okay, let's grab our purple. Okay. Pull through. We're done with the white now, so let's go ahead and cut off the white. Okay, make sure all the tails are staying where they're supposed to be. All right, okay, you want to make sure that you have your working yarn continuing on the side of the square with the purple. Everybody staying nice and tight on the outside there. You don't want any loose stitching, okay. I'm going to drop my purple tail back, all right. Continue on till I get to the cream of the ear. Okay, so if you notice, this is where the cream is connected here, okay? So because it's connected there, I want to go ahead and start doing the color change right before it. Okay, I'm going to grab my cream colored yarn, finish that through. Now go ahead and do your single crochet in the in-between space and, and on the side of the square, okay? And then go ahead and switch back to purple. Okay, drop your tail. And then go ahead and continue on through to the corner. Doing two in the corner. 
Okay, now slip stitch to connect to the first single crochet and you're done. Okay, then just go ahead and pull this through and tight. Time to tie in the loose ends. 